Hello everyone and welcome to the Veg Grower Podcast. And in this week's video, uh, I've got something a little different to show you. Now, I'm all about growing my own food in my garden and allotment. And if you watch through my videos, you will see that's pretty much all I do. Um, now, in February 2016, I added a couple of chickens to my garden and I haven't looked back since. They have been fantastic. They, they're going to need replacing soon because they're not laying as well, but, but that's neither here nor there. They've been fantastic, not just for the eggs, but also for the fact that they save so much work in the garden and improve my composting tenfold. But I've always been curious on what else I could do in a garden. And something I've been toying with for quite a while has been quail. And it's been one of those things I keep looking at and keep coming back and the more I look at it, the more I think I can do it. Well, Friday night I got a call saying somebody had some quail that basically, young quail, they needed to go kind of soon. Excuse me, I'm just checking on the chickens. Ah, they're all right. Chickens are out there. So yeah, I um, basically, if I didn't take them, they were going to be cat food. So I took the quail. Uh, I came, I picked them up Saturday. I came home and quickly made a, a cage and I had four, four female quail and one male quail. Now I didn't video that because I was in such a rush just to get it built and get them housed so they were safe. So Sunday, unfortunately overnight I did lose two of the females. Not, not that, I'm not happy about it but it's kind of to be expected. Anyway, let me introduce you to the quails and we'll come back after that and um, go from there. Right, so this is the quail hutch. It's quite um, rudimentary. I quickly made it up out of some wood uh, I had lying around and a bit of wire mesh. So, uh, see, they don't need a huge amount of space. Have a walk around here and have a look at them. There they are. Hopefully you can see that. Let's try zooming you in. There's three of them. The lighter coloured one is a male and the other two are the females. As you can see they're very very small. Which is why they're pretty good I think for back backyard in the garden. Now these are only five six weeks old the breeder said so they, they're fully feathered out but they still need a bit of protection. I did have two other females with them in total five but they died overnight. As you can see they're, they're huddling together at the moment probably keeping warm. Now what I've also learned already is they are messy eaters. Um, that bowl just to the side of him was full of food this morning it's almost empty but most of it's on the floor around them so I've got to come up with a way of making them a bit better so uh, a bit tidier because what I don't want is attracting rats they're very cute they uh, I've added that little wooden box for them to sleep in at night but they don't use it well they didn't last night anyway um, and what I've also done on that side over there is the door to get in and out. Now I've gone for a side door instead of a top door because when these try and escape or they're scared their reaction is to fly up and they're, they're not great flyers but they're better than the chickens. So I figured a side door there's less chance of them getting out. Um, and what have you. They basically can keep these in rabbit hatches, hutches is what I've learned as well. And they're pretty, pretty easy to look after. Small space. 
<laughs> they're pretty awesome. Water drink out to the side for them. Seems to be working okay, they've taken to that quite easily. And they obviously eat bugs and stuff, such as they've just seen that fly flying around. And we, if you can see them, where they're all squashing together. That's how I think the other two died by them doing that. But nonetheless, they'll get used to their surroundings. So they're only five, six weeks old, so they're quite young, which is why overnight they're kept in the potting shed for until spring, I'd imagine. Just to keep them a bit warmer. And then when I'm around at the day, they come out here. Because I do prefer them to be on the ground and not not like battery farms sort of things. So that's the quail in their little house. As I said, that's not the best housing I know. I quickly, I just quickly built it out of a bit of scrap wood I'd lined around. Um, it, it, it's perfectly good. It'll house them quite adequately. I could have done with it being a bit thinner. It's a bit too long, which makes it difficult to move around. Um, but nonetheless, I'm, I'm happy with them. Now, for me, while I've been researching about quail, uh, obviously with quail, you've seen how small they are. They can live in rabbit hutches. So in terms of space, they're going to do really well they need a huge amount of room and they're pretty cool obviously you get eggs and you can breed them and you could do meat which is saying i may do i'm not sure about i'm i'm a bit hesitant about that but i'm definitely going to be getting eggs out of them as well as the chicken eggs now i mentioned Oh, the other thing I'm going to try and do with them is tractor them, which is what I wanted to do with chickens. But they, they haven't, in my garden, they haven't really been able to do that. Uh, and tractoring is where basically I've got them in their cage and I'll just keep moving their cow cage onto a different bit of ground so they do their work, fertilise it with their poop and stuff, and, and scratch around to eat the bugs. That's what I'm hoping to do with a quail more with it than the chickens now this this entire lot is a bit of an ongoing project but we'll, we'll come and go from it over the uh, next few months i mentioned in that video the trouble they're messy eaters and that they keep throwing their food everywhere well i've devised a method of feeding them i'll show you now or in just a second i think this is going to work better as I pull up now, and we'll go back and see what you think. Right, well, this video is a bit funny because I lost the audio for it, so I'm having to record over. But I've modified the feeder. Now, in my original video, I said that I had trouble with them. Quails are quite messy eaters. So I've built this um, feeder, if you like. Um, it's made out of plastic tubing. 40 mil down that bit i'm pointing at at the moment is the feeder tube it comes down to a 90 degree elbow where well, there's another bit of 40 mil tube and then a 45 degree elbow on the inside this inside bit is where the quail will stick their head in and get the food and because it's only like an inch and a half the f when they shake their head the food isn't going to go all over the place Instead, it should stay pretty much in the feeder. And then, of course, with all that tube fed up to the top, it'll keep a fairly constant supply there for them. And it pushes it down through into there so they always can get food. That's the idea anyway. And I think it's going to work. Um... It seems to work. As I've, as I've recorded this after the event, I know it does work. So it's all good. Uh, 
Okay, so that's the feeder. Um, it's set up, it's working great, they're eating from it. Um, should mean I don't have to keep topping them up regularly. I mean, that, that the pot that I had in there originally, a couple of hours and it was empty, but mostly because they put it on the floor. That, since it's been in there, they haven't got any on the floor. They're eating from it, it's working. So I'm happy with that. Now I know this hasn't been a gardening one, but it kind of is. And I'm gonna s try and set this up on a, a subcategory within my channel. So um, I have a quail project type thing going on. Let me know what you think. Anybody kept quail out there before? I'd love to know. Um, I'm happy with them so far. I'm only two days into them, but we'll see what happens. Um, they're actually going to live in here overnight and when I'm not around, like during the week and stuff. It's only because they're quite young, they're five, six weeks. Once they get to ten weeks, they should be a bit bigger and stronger, but at the moment they're quite young and they're going to need a bit of delicate mollycoddling just to get them through the colder months of the winter. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all again next time.